morning. I'm on my way to the shop. Uh, you guys may remember uh, Bodega, this company, Bodega Cooler, I think it's called. This is what it says on this new box I just got sent. <laughs> but the Bodega company sent me a fridge freezer, I guess it's been weeks ago, and I did an unboxing video of that. I have not <clears throat> set it up to use it yet. I've been too busy working. Uh, I do plan to use it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing a video on it. And there's, I think the last weekend of this month, I'm going to try to get out to do a camping trip. But today, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Bodega Cooler solar panel. Because it got here yesterday, and I would have done the video yesterday, except <laughs> I was just too run down. <laughs> I just didn't get enough sleep the night before. I'm still tired. I don't know what's going on. So we're going through June gloom right now, which is typical, and it has been going on for about three months now. <laughs> so it's pretty overcast in the morning, and it's a funny thing when it's always this kind of dark in the mornings where you just you kind of lack that motivation. I think I just I'm waiting for that those mornings when you wake up and the sun is out again. Of course, this time of year, by the time that happens, it'll be midsummer. And that's when it starts getting a little too warm for me. But anyhow, we're going to do the uh, unboxing here. You're going to see that in a moment. Yeah, don't stop at the at the red light. Just pull right out, you know, as if there's nobody else driving around on the road here. <laughs> anyhow, stick around. We're going to get through this in a moment. Good morning. <laughs> okay, we're here. What the hell of a drive to the shop this morning? Uh, what am I doing here? This is going to be an unboxing of what is called, according to the packaging label here, the Bodega Cooler. That's the company. And yeah, I forgot a watch this morning. That's, I had to get out of the house and get to work because I feel like I was so unproductive yesterday. I have out here also my Blue Eddy that I purchased with my own money quite some time ago. This was sent to me by Bodega because they wanted me to do these videos. Because <clears throat> they'd seen me do a couple other videos that they were pleased with. Apparently, I'm okay at this. I'm not as pro as like a lot. Of, it is interesting to me. I watch a lot of other channels do product reviews or unboxings. I think they're all better at it than I am. But whatever. <laughs> Let's see. This, this is a big box. I got to tell you, this thing is heavy, and I'm a little nervous because I'm going to have to find a place. I can feel it already. Yeah. This is a much larger one. Much larger. I'm going to have to find a place to store this thing in the Astro van. Oh, yeah. Something fell out of the box. Let's see, here's the, one of the cables. This is interesting that these cables are just hanging out and they weren't stored inside the zipper pocket. Makes me slightly concerned. No information in here. Huh. There's no information in the box. I can't see anything in the box. All right, there's nothing, there's nothing in the box. Let's see if we open this up, if there's anything in here. No, there's nothing in here. Okay, so <laughs> there's nothing that tells you what this thing is. So I, this is what we're going to do. We're going to play the guessing game today. This is supposed to be... <laughs> this is funny. There's no written information on this thing. Okay, that is... I did not expect that. It's a well-made thing, I can tell you that much. Like I'm supposed, I suppose you call this Cordura nylon, but it's very heavy weight. We've got the zipper pouch here. We've got uh, all your connectors. We've got this extra one here. I don't know. Wow. Okay, I'll have to figure all this stuff out. Was there's no instructions that came with this, which is very bizarre. Bodega, you watching this? Uh, I'm going to have to go to the website and see what's on there. I want to make sure all this fits in here. 
I knew it would. I like the reinforced built-in handle. I like it that in a way better than the Blue Eddy because the Blue Eddy has this handle that yeah, sticks up beyond it. But this is designed to be ultra compact. This is 120 watt. This is supposed to be a 200 watt. So between them, 320 watts. That should help make things charge a lot quicker. I'm gonna give you the dimensions here of this thing collapsed so you know. This is a, it, th that's what these unboxings I do are about. I'm just kind of giving you my first impression when I take it out of the box. I'm gonna give you the dimensions of it and my thoughts on that. Because van life, you know, it's limited space. And you need to know what the size of this thing is exactly. And you need to see it compared to something like me. I'm 5'9", yeah, roughly 195 pounds or so. You need to see this. <clears throat> What's the word I'm looking for? In like a size comparison so you know what you're buying. Because when you see them online, a lot of times there'll just be a picture of it with a white background with nothing there for size comparison. A lot of people don't understand dimensions. So... This is about, well, it's 24 and 3 eighths of an inch, which is approximately 62 centimeters tall. And wide, we've got 21 and 3 sixteenths, which is, looks to me to be about 53, uh, 0.7 centimeters, approximately. And let's see if we can guesstimate here how tall this sits up off the surface. Uh, I've got about three inches. I could crush it. You know, if there's wires in the thing, two and three quarters, uh, which is about seven centimeters tall. Not bad. I think this is going to open up to be wider than this table. It's a project I'm currently working on. I thought it would be perfect to do this quick unboxing video here. These are good quality solar cells. This, this, this You could tell this could take a little bit of wet, uh, wetness as well. Uh, very similar to the ones on the Blue Eddy. Alright. This has your standard legs, right, to keep this angled at the sun. And, uh... I'll give you guys a little tip on that, uh, that I do when I'm out there with these things. Let's get an overall length on it. I wasn't going to stand it up, but since the one leg is out, let's do it. I think some of this is going off screen for you. Uh, 91 and 5 eighths or uh, 232.7 centimeters interesting that's huge that is going to generate a lot of energy to charge whatever it is you want to charge there will be a video coming up where I plug this into the cooler and run the cooler the refrigerator they sent me which is a dual zone it's already in the back of the van, uh, which I'll do a nice video for them, which will show where I put it in the van. I'll show how this charges and everything else. But more importantly, for me, because I wouldn't rely on this to charge that cooler. Obviously, I mean, I think you might want to hook that up to a power station. And it's that simple. Again, the way the leg system works, boom. That's what I was seeing from the back, just so you guys understand. When it's out like this, there's no adjustment buckle. So you can't shorten these to change this pitch, but look at that. You could probably do something like that to change the angle a little bit. Doesn't change it that much, does it? <clears throat> I have a deck on the van. So uh, last time I was out camping uh, with our friend Wonder Hussey at the, uh, in the Saline Valley there, what I would do is I'd get up in the morning, you know, first light, and I would set this up angled at the sun. And then as the sun came up overhead throughout the course of the day, late morning, probably 10, 11 o'clock, something like that, the panel would go up on the roof of the van flat because the sun was directly overhead. 
and then late in the afternoon as the sun starts setting it was no longer overhead i put to take this back down and put it on the ground and angle it again at the sun so i was getting now i wasn't obviously with this panel i just took that out of the box it almost sounds like i'm lying to you i was doing all that with this unit now i just want to compare them in size so you understand i built a closet box behind my driver's seat specifically to house this and i have a collapsible toilet system which <clears throat> it works uh, and it's nice because it collapses pretty narrow so again i can fit it behind the, the seat there but i think i'm going to go to a bucket system because that's a kind of a contraption to open and close all the time and what i did put a seat on it like a seat cover like a real toilet at home because it'll hold over 300 pounds you can use it as a step stool and sit at a camp but I'm going to go with a different system. And the hard thing about the van when it comes to stuff like this is where do you put it? You know, you've got to figure that out. There's, there's not a whole lot of room. And I like having a living room in the van with the swivel seat and everything else. So, but I'm very happy because at 200, if the sun comes out today, I might add some more information to the end of this video. But what I want to do next is, uh, well, I'll just show you a quick comparison with this one. Just, just so you see it, it's a 120 watt panel. Uh, I'm sure, it's dirty because I didn't clean it. Yeah, so there's some dust on this sucker. Let's just put this right here so you guys can keep looking at it while I open this one up. You can see there's still dust and whatnot on this from being out in saline. And same system. To, uh, support this with the legs exactly the same but miniature it's much smaller but again roughly half the power that it draws in and by the way this 120 watt system was perfect to keep my blue eddy charger going all right and I powered a refrigerator off of this so throughout the day what I ended up doing was the solar panel would charge this thing to hundred percent and then overnight, this would run whatever I needed it to run, which wasn't much. It was basically just keeping the fridge going. And I don't I didn't have my fairy lights or anything else in the van. However, now that I have this, which is the Iceco power station, which is a thousand watt hours, something like that, uh, I needed a bigger solar panel. So since Bodega contacted me after watching my videos on this, uh, they sent me a bigger, better, well, you know, should be. It's going to be better for me personally. I don't know about the quality yet, but the larger uh, fridge freezer that Bodega sent me, uh, you know, bigger capacity and everything else, I'll be running that off this. Plus, I'll start running some other things. I'll be able to do other cool stuff when I'm out in the middle of nowhere and actually got more power. I'm going to keep this one obviously as a backup and to use for other things. It's just smart to do so. So this is the state of where I'm at right now with powering my life while I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And hopefully, as I mentioned in the very beginning of this video, in the next couple weeks I'll be using this stuff. And you guys will see that. I'm going out there with Dave. So this video, back to what it's about again I just wanted to show you guys this as a comparison to the bodega just in size even though it's half the almost half the capacity it's 65 and a half inches or 166.2 centimeters uh, and the height here is uh, about 16 and a quarter inches or just over 41 centimeters people um, People are weird, you know. I see a lot of interesting stuff. What's going on here? How does this work? I guess this goes this way, this goes that way, this flips back over, and I clip it. I'm, it's weird to me. I get it. But if you hard mount solar panels to your vehicle, you're, unless they're adjustable, you're not getting maximum uh, power out of it. These things have to be angled directly at the sun to get maximum effect. And when you have it like this, now there's not a huge, super long cable here. Maybe somebody could chime in in the uh, 
comments because what I was about to say is one of the benefits of having a separate solar panel that you set up is you could park your vehicle in the shade but put the panel out in the sun. So this cable it's not that long but what I'm curious about is that's six feet two inches seven eight nine yeah, got about ten feet of cable I wonder if there's an extension for this can you buy an extension that'll plug into this and then uh, you know what I'm saying I don't know do you lose any energy being transferred from the solar panel to the unit if you have a longer cable I don't know let's see because this is the uh, main unit I plan on using how we plug this in here oh look at that there we go there's one of our inputs I, really, I am not the best guy because I've not really used this stuff before but that's how we'll plug it in to get power from the solar panel to the unit then they've got this one here Ooh, looky there which plugs in right there I don't know what the heck that would plug into and then what I'm curious about is can I plug both of these into the same unit at the same time Look at this. This one came with an extra cable here. Ooh, I see. I don't know if I have to plug, I, I, I don't know. Do you plug, I guess you do. I don't remember how I even did this the last time I was out, but I'm assuming I plugged both of these together and then plug this in. <sighs> That doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. That doesn't fit into anything. That doesn't fit. I mean, I, oh, here's your input here. Okay, so that's how I... <laughs> I'm so not a pro. This is how I plug this in. Now, one thing I do like about the Blue Eddy over the Bodega, just going to point it out, is right here is all the information about the panel. When I opened this up today, I wasn't sure what it was. I thought this was a, like 180 watt. But it says it right here. It's 120. It's the SP120. It's peak power is 120 watts. It's solar cell, sun power. Uh, cell efficiency up to 23% that doesn't sound great but it worked for me and it's got all the other information here so is there another input on here okay so this unit this is interesting uh, this does not have an input that will work with this solar panel now, it does have, okay, the blue, the, uh, the bodega that we're here really to talk about, the wires on that has these two extra wires. So right now, the bodega unit, right, is plugged into the ice co. I've got these two here which look to me to be the same connectors as what we see here. And now we know this connector will not plug into this unit. It looks like it might be proprietary to just the Blue Eddy unit. So let's figure out how to unplug these suckers. Oh, well, I, think, I think we're going to get lucky, man. I think we're going to get lucky because this was what I wanted to see. So let's imagine our bodega it doesn't even say bodega on it does it oh here it does 
<laughs> I want to give them their give them their proper credit here. Bodega, you should put more labeling on this thing and the information. Just as a suggestion. So our bodega, imagine that this is unfolded. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day. It's not gloomy, gloomy. Beautiful day out. We've got this angled directly at the sun. And we've decided to go ahead and... <laughs> just going crazy here with water. We're going to go ahead and decide to plug this in, which we already have, to our power generator. I always call it a solar generator, but it can be charged multiple ways. By the way, this can uh, be charged while you're driving the van. Uh, somebody asked me that question. I'm not sure if I ever answered it. It has all the wires for that, so you can plug it into the 12-volt cigarette lighter. I just haven't done it yet. I absolutely have charged this while I was driving, which, as a recommendation, before you go on your trip, you should charge everything at home through your AC. The night before, put it in the van, you're golden, right? Well, let's say you've been out for a while and uh, you're driving someplace and these things need to be charged. Plug them into your cigarette lighter while you're driving. Uh, they efficiently charge from the generator off your vehicle while it's running. It's fantastic. As a matter of fact, even when you are, uh, when I'm driving and I've got a fridge going, or I've got food in the fridge, I use the 12 volt plug from the fridge to keep the refrigerator going while I'm driving. This should be like kind of a dirt thing for you. Obviously, that's what you should be doing. I'm telling you to do it. That's what I do. Then when I get someplace, obviously I unplug it from the vehicle, and that's when I set up the solar panel. Now back to this. This is the cable from the Blue Eddy solar panel, and looky here. The only thing that scares me is that I don't think it matters. I guess we'll find out when I get, go to test this, but the colors are opposite. So, well, so what you end up having to do, the only way it works is the blue, the red to the black and the red to the black, that's how that works. So what I've just done here is both of these solar panels are plugged together and then one lead coming off of the Bodega Cooler solar panel, which is what we're here to talk about today, is plugged directly into my power station, which happens to be the ISCO PB1000, which seems to be a pretty awesome unit. Uh, that's where we're at today. I think that's it for now because I do have to get to work. I got to work on this table here, fitting these breadboard edges to this table today. If you guys are interested in woodworking uh, or any of the other stuff I do, check out the page, see the other videos. It's okay stuff. I don't know. That's it for now. You guys have a great day. Let me get this all off of here so I can give you a nice clear shot of the solar panel all by itself at the end instead of talking about all these other companies, but I think this is important information for you guys. I mean, you guys want to know about this. It is interesting that it came with this extra little cable here because, I mean, these don't plug into one another. So I know I'm looking stupid to people who know these things better than I do. I'm not sure what this is for, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. I won't lose it. <laughs> Put that back in that package right there. Let's first unplug all this so we can put it all away. Uh, by the way, what I just described sounds like a lot of work to lazy people. <laughs> as far as, you know, moving your solar panels around, like you don't want to do that. That's the reason why a lot of people hard mount them to the vehicle. But I'm telling you, if you want the most efficient power from the sun through your solar panels, that is the best way to do it uh, because you want to be able to angle those panels. And I don't see what the big deal is. Uh, it only takes moments. I mean, a, less than a minute. Did you see how fast I set that thing up? Uh, it might take longer than a minute to set it up, but <clears throat> moving it and angling it, throwing it up on the roof of the van, that doesn't take any time at all. Just to reiterate, here this is 
We just unzipped it. We've taken the cable out. Let's wait a couple seconds to, to report. That's how long that took. Then we're gonna open this up. We're gonna do this here. We're gonna pull it out this way. And we're gonna pull these out. I mean, look, this is already deployed. It's already deployed. That's how easy it is. So I don't know. I don't uh, I don't see the big deal. Storing it possibly and getting it out of wherever it is you're storing it. That could be a hassle uh, in a tight vehicle, like my little Astro van over here. I'm gonna have to come up with a more efficient way uh, to store this thing. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but when I figure that out, I'll be on a trip and I'll explain it to you at that time. So once again, this was an unboxing, but also I wanted to kind of show you guys uh, how I intend to use it with the power stations that I own. And I'm very happy that the cabling seems like it's, it all plugs together. So we'll see. That's going to be a really fun practical experiment, which will be another video on this. So I went doing quite a few videos on this particular solar panel because I want to see if it will daisy chain to the Blue Eddy and then uh, effectively, like we'll plug it into a power station. We'll use a Blue Eddy panel, we'll see what that's giving us. We'll use this to see the difference, see how much more powerful this one is. Then we'll daisy chain them together and we'll see if that, you know, common sense, right? Do I, am I gonna get, that should significantly increase the amount of power coming from the sun through the panel into the unit, which should help us to charge our power station far more efficiently and faster, which would be fantastic right look at some point I'm gonna probably end up with uh, some way to communicate better out there like maybe possibly was the Elon Musk thing the Starlink thing and then you're gonna really want something like this so pretty cool I think these are neat because really they are pretty thin it wouldn't be that hard to find a place to store this thing in most other vehicles uh, it's just again with this with the van it's it's getting tight in there with stuff, so you guys will see that soon. Bodega. It says it right there, Bodega Cooler. Thanks, man. Thank you for sending the product. I super appreciate it. It is going to get used. You guys will see it while I'm using it. And that's it for now. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. Come back again and, uh, you know, tell your friends. Uh, damn. I'm not such a bad guy. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be good to one another.